going all in on new things. Like, to the point where it's detrimental to the state of our apartment. I don't know how to try. I only know how to hyperfixate and make a new hobby my entire life. Three, I am fully convinced that I could just like, like, force my way into being really good at anything I try. Not by practicing, just by like, Force it, like really force it. How does that work? Great question. Great question. And four. The hardest part of the creative process for me is execution. I will do a ton of research. I will get everything perfectly prepared. I'll have everything that I need. Once I start a project, it's smooth sailing. I breeze through it. It's easy. But it's the getting started. Like that just that initial like little push. That's rough for me. That is so hard. And I haven't quite figured out a way around it yet. And that brings us to why we're here today. In the past few months to a year about, I've, I've picked up sewing as a new hobby. And it hasn't come nearly as easy to me as other hobbies tend to. So instead of practicing, I just get frustrated that I'm not immediately good at it and don't do it. On top of that, in typical alley fashion. I have a ton of sewing supplies just sitting around waiting to be used. I have fabric, like full things of fabric. I have scrap fabric. I have stuff that I've thrifted specifically to use for sewing to like upcycle and do whatever with. I have mendables from Fab Scrap. 25 pounds of them to be exact. If you want a story on that, go watch my video from a few weeks ago. So basically, I just need to start. Gotta get started. So, here we are. I figured the best way to go about it is, one, I picked a few smaller projects that should be easy-ish in terms of I've already kind of thought through them and I don't think they're going to take a ton of actual like sewing skill. And so that's hopefully going to help build some confidence and momentum, and two, make a video. Accountability queen. This is, generally speaking, when I don't want to do things and I turn on a camera, I want to do them a little bit more. And even if I don't, like I said, accountability in some way. Yay, internet. I picked a few pieces that we're going to start with. I'm going to tell you the plan, the goal, what we're doing with them. So, first off, we got this jacket. I thrifted this. It's a rag and bone denim jacket. And I originally got this to make it, to make something for a relative, and then it's supposed to be like a Boston Red Sox thing. And I totally screwed it up. Um, I used like screen printing ink to paint on it. And then ran it through the washer too early and it got all messed up and gross. What I want to do with this is I have this like floral meshy fabric and I think I'm going to like cut out this back panel and maybe these two front panels and put like that mesh fabric in. It's like let me grab the fabric, hold on. This is the fabric. So it's like this mesh floral, super pretty. I wanna, I got this originally from a Joanne Fabrics that was closing. Oh, ow. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Project number one. Alright, so here's 
or before for the jacket. Sean, obviously it's like mesh so I'm hoping it holds up okay we'll find out so now I'm just gonna pin all the fabric pieces to the jacket shell see how that goes this is a lot of just hoping for this Saturday morning now. It's 7.30. I've been up since a little before 7. But I'm pretty busy this weekend, so I want to make sure I got up and had some time to work on this stuff to try to actually get it done um, over the weekend. So I just finished the jacket, and I'm pretty excited about it. The sewing is not, not the best, but it's 
I'd say pretty solid for like an amateur level sewist. 